The day of the fire, I was not here when, the when it first started. It's a very emotional day, I would say. It still, still brings those emotions back. There's a lot of anxiety not knowing what to expect, but upon arriving on the scene, we, we knew then that it was a very serious fire and the fire was, the, the house was pretty well in, in, engulfed in flames. Seeing all the flames and uh, not being able to do anything was, was hard. And then, uh, it was three years ago and I still get emotional. <laughs> I needed to have the satisfaction of knowing that um, that we we're going to be okay. It'll, it'll just be a process we have to go through, and then we'll have to, you know, clean up and rebuild. Some people were saying, "Well, you just tear it down and start over." We felt like it was the best thing to do to restore um, the old part of the house. We felt it was important to uh, maintain what was left. It was just long drawn out, but it was all worth it. We kind of forgot about that now. We live in a beautiful house now and we're so blessed. I would say it's important to restore old buildings. It's uh, to maintain the legacy, maintain the uh, things that have happened generations before, persons that have lived here before. It's important to restore um, the old houses that were companies or businesses because they um, are a value. In the end you will have more value if you do a, a careful and thorough restoration. Because people, when people think of Anvil, they think about this historic district. A home in the historic district uh, garners a lot more attention.